Hi, my name is Taylor and I'm one of the registered veterinary technicians at Troy Equine Services and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a lower limb bandage. So first I'm going to show you what materials we're going to start with. This will be what's going to be your inner layer and this is going to be contacting the wound. So right now we just have a basic non-stick dressing, a stretchy conform gauze to hold that directly on the wound and some sticky adhesive bandage to keep that in place underneath um, of what's gonna be your outer layer. So this is gonna be your outer layer, which is gonna provide support and compression and help to keep everything clean and dry um, so the wound doesn't get infected. Um, so we can begin. So we're gonna pretend like Lady has a little wound on her leg. We would start with some sort of wound dressing and depending on what type of wound your horse has, we would help direct you because there's different dressings we would use for different wounds and different stages of healing. We, you would place your first layer against the wound like that and then this is just a stretchy gauze that's going to hold this in place. Notice that I'm not pulling this tight around her leg. We just want this nice and loose to help keep the first layer in place. And we want to cover, make sure that the top and the bottom of that first layer against the wound is fully covered by this gauze. Perfect. Now once that's in place, we're going to use what we call light plast. It's similar to vet wrap, but it has a sticky adhesive layer on the inside. So we're just going to do a little bit of that around the top and the bottom so that this doesn't slip underneath of our outer layer. And what I like to do is unravel it a little bit so that I can release the tension. And then we're just going to do a couple times around the top and the bottom. And again, with this, you wanna make sure you're not pulling too tight. You wanna wrap around and let the tension go. Next, we're going to do our outer layer. So this is leg cotton and we want a nice thick layer of this before doing any type of vet wrap or outer wrap because we don't want the vet wrap directly on skin without any cushion underneath as it can cause bandage sores, circulation problems, and lead to bigger problems down the road. The next layer we're gonna do is some brown gauze. This is gonna help with compression and making sure the bandage is nice and tight. Because we have this white cushiony layer on underneath of the brown gauze, we can go pretty tight with this so that we make sure we have nice, good compression. And when I'm pulling something that's tight, I'm always making sure I'm pulling at the front of the cannon bone and never pulling the tension on the back of the leg where their ligaments and tendons are. And you might notice as well that when I'm wrapping this, I start at the top and go to the bottom making sure I'm evenly overlapping about half, half of each wrap around. It's also important with this layer that you wanna leave about an inch, these are a little big for her, but about an inch of the white cotton or padding at the top and the bottom. If we were to not do that, then this brown gauze would act like sort of a tourniquet and cut the circulation off in her leg. Next, we're gonna do a layer of vet wrap. And with this, you can go tight as well. Again, only because you have that white cushion layer underneath. And you 
want to make sure you're using equal tension and pressure when applying this. And then to finish it off, we're gonna do another layer of that sticky light plast just at the top and bottom. This will help keep the bandage in place as well as keep any debris out of the bandage. And you wanna do half on the bandage and half on your horse's skin. is a lower limb bandage. So to remove this bandage, you're gonna to wanna to get yourself a pair of bandage scissors. You can find these on Amazon. And the difference between regular scissors and bandage scissors is these have a nice blunt end. And I'll show you why that's useful. You're gonna slide the blunt end underneath the bandage and that way you don't risk cutting into your horse's skin while you're trying to remove this. And it does help get in between the different layers of the bandage as well, because you can shove the scissors right in there. 